Beginning Core Strengthening and Breathing Part 2. Lie on the floor with your feet elevated on a chair or ottoman and your head supported with a folded or rolled up towel. Make sure the front of your hips or hip flexors are soft and relaxed. Three hundred sixty degree breathing with breath hold. Remember from part one, the pelvic floor and diaphragm relax and move downward as we inhale, and they contract and move upward as we exhale, similar to the bell of a jellyfish as it widens before contracting to propel itself forward. Take an inhale down into your pelvic floor, lower back, sides of your body, and abdomen. Then slowly exhale all of the air out of your lungs as you flatten your abdomen and gently pull the pelvic floor up as if you're stopping the flow of urine. After all of the air has been exhaled out of your lungs, hold your breath for three to five seconds before taking another inhale down into your pelvic floor. Controlled voluntary breath holding builds carbon dioxide tolerance in the body. When we have more carbon dioxide in the body, it actually allows for an increased transfer of oxygen to the lungs and tissues of the body. Bracing the abdominals while breathing. Start by taking a few easy breaths, gently engaging your pelvic floor and abdominals on your exhale. On the last exhale, keep the light contraction of the pelvic floor and deep abdominals. As you hold the light contraction of the pelvic floor and deep abdominals, continue to breathe into your lower back, sides of your body, and abdomen. You'll notice that your lower back, sides of your body, and abdomen won't expand as much, and that's okay. Modification. If you have trouble engaging the pelvic floor and abdominals, add resistance to your arms with a resistance band. This will help by engaging the core system from the upper trunk, which will make connecting to the pelvic floor and abdominals much easier. Attach the resistance band from a high anchor point to add traction upward to your arms. Shoulders should be gently pulled down and back. Pull the band down toward your knees using your lats and hold as you gently engage your pelvic floor and abdominals. Breathe into your lower back, sides of your body, and your abdomen. Introduction to marching or heel taps. Same rules apply for this exercise. Take a deep inhale down into your pelvic floor, lower back, sides of your body and abdomen, relaxing the pelvic floor and diaphragm down, and then exhale gently pulling the pelvic floor up and engaging the abdominals as you lift one leg three to four inches off of the chair. Modification. Use a resistance band to help engage the core system from the upper trunk, which will make connecting to the pelvic floor and abdominals much easier. <laughs> 